One hour south of Louisville lies a small town full of heart and character, but starting from the name of the highway into town, it's obvious there is one very famous former resident. When Robert Hodgen purchased the land that would eventually become Hodgenville, you wonder if you ever dreamt it would become a bustling metropolis of 3,800 with small businesses and a tourism industry brought along by a young Abraham Lincoln. Just a few miles south of downtown at the Abraham Lincoln Birthplace National Historic Site, it is here that the first memorial dedicated to Lincoln's life was built. We can safely say that this is the first true memorial that was constructed in the United States to honor Abraham Lincoln. Uh, the cornerstone was laid in 1909 and it was completed in 1911. And the Lincoln Memorial that everybody knows uh, wasn't finished until 1922. Oh, yeah. 56 steps representing 56 years of life lead you up the memorial. And is that the cornerstone? That is the cornerstone. That's Inside, we find a similar cabin to the one that Lincoln was born in, a symbol of his humble beginnings. Imagine four people, two adults and two kids, living in this cabin. By our standards today, that's not a whole lot of space. They would have been very cramped. And plus, they would have cooked all their meals in here and farmed the land. They would have done everything themselves. So they would have had very busy days. Surrounding the memorial, there are several areas to explore, including sinking spring and hiking trails where you can observe the park's wildlife. Out of the park and back downtown, you will find a bustling town square full of shops, restaurants, and historic buildings in the seat of LaRue County. But as you look around, you can't help but notice a familiar face and name. Only two years old, Lincoln's family was caught in a land dispute and decided to relocate just east of town. Known today as Abraham Lincoln's boyhood home, it's the 30 acres of land the family lived on and farmed until Abraham was nearly eight years old. It was on this land that Lincoln almost drowned, if not for friend Austin Gallagher saving him. This would also be the place Lincoln first witnessed African Americans on their way to being sold as slaves. Almost 50 years later, he would pen the Emancipation Proclamation. Along the banks of Knob Creek, which almost took Abraham Lincoln's life to his boyhood home and his birthplace, the legacy of Lincoln stands strong in Hodgenville, Kentucky. Matt Milosevic, WLKY News.